Hello, my name is Trey. Welcome to What Can I Change? Tom Brady was on the PBD podcast. Y'all can go check out the whole interview. It is great. Um, I want to talk about one part that he mentioned, though, and I think it's really important. Let's watch. I, it's, it's very different. Like, I, I didn't have any friends on the other teams. I didn't, you know, and I think it's a little different day and age. Interesting. Yeah, I didn't. I Even ex-teammates that left? Well, yeah, to a degree, but, okay. I mean, I was... My friends were the guys that were in the battle with me. So Sick. it's very different in today's age, which I actually think is a little, uh, you've got to create a lot of different emotion to, to, to heighten your sense of awareness and focus. Like for me, anger was good. Anger was good because it was motivating. The more I could create an enemy, the more I wanted to go out and kill those guys. Now, I knew I wasn't going to kill them physically, but man, if I could just, what did they say? You know, and what did they look like? And did they disrespect me at all? You know, and did that asshole say something? Like, those are little, little, little things that can get me right in the emotional frame of mind that when I ran on the field and I said, let's fucking go. It was really, let's go kick some ass. That's what we were doing. I want to talk about this, man. I believe a lot in what he was saying there. So one of the things I was writing not too long ago, I was journaling and I was talking about, um, I was writing down like one of the emotions that I struggle to really bring up and within me is anger. The only time I can really get myself to get angry is when I'm working out. When I'm working out, because I told you guys last year, y'all remember the story um, about my anxiety being so bad and all that kind of stuff, right? Because I got off the drugs. So nonetheless, I'm sitting here, I'm sitting here, I, sometimes in the gym, it, I get the most angriest I've ever been in the gym, and I, I bring it out of me, because I remember last year, and to be fair, guys, I didn't have, I didn't struggle with anxiety at all last year, last year, I just went through something, you know, I had a panic attack, and people who've had a panic attack, it can happen at any point in your life, and that's what happened to me, I had a random panic attack when I decided to stop smoking marijuana, right, and then my whole world flipped, and I went through this big anxiety battle, right, and so sometimes when I work out now, I remember those times when I was afraid to work out because I was afraid to do anything because my mortality hit me in my face. I felt like I was going to die all the time. Right. And so I remember thinking to myself, you know what? You know what? Every time I work out and I don't have the anxiety anymore, even if I just start to feel a little bit and I don't show it on camera. Right. But I get so mad, so mad i mean it boils within me I, I i start thinking to myself i'm like well you know what man if you think you're gonna die right now or you think something's gonna happen then let it effing happen i mean i'll scream it out like let it effing happen i get so mad and i allow that to let me lift I, I allow that fear to overcome me i allow it but another part of me also has something that's different when i'm on camera there's a different emotion that i use a lot of jealousy jealousy when I get up, when I watch other YouTubers, I watch people who I'll probably never, ever get close to being bigger than. I can name many of people that I watch and I'm like, man, I, I get so jealous. I get so envious, not of their life because I have no idea what's going on in their life. I just get upset with how good their production looks, how many subscribers they have, how many followers they have. I'm focusing on just that. Just like Tom Brady with the football, I'm not focusing on personal life. I'm focusing on what I'm wanting when I'm here on the camera, okay? And so I'm looking at these people and I'm like, man, they got so many freaking subs. Man, they got so many dang viewers. Look at all the engagement. Look at all the people saying that they love their video. And it just boils up in me. And I just, I get, I feel myself just getting more and more upset with myself. Like, Trey, why isn't your lighting better? Right now, it's bothering me that I'm a little off center because I move my computers around. And it's bothering me that I can't fix it till, till the next video. But I'm here. That stuff bothers me. I know when you guys just watch me, and you think that I, I don't notice the stuff that, that's not good, right? I know there's YouTubers out there that have potato phones, right? They don't care. They're already big enough. They made their content, their personality overwhelmed everything, right? And they can just make a video and it's all good. And they can just put it up. It doesn't even have to look that great. It could be 720p. It could be 480p. People won't care. But to me, it matters because I have an end goal in mind. So when I see other people doing what I want to do, people from the Daily Wire, people from PragerU, 
People even I don't like, okay? That can go from anybody to Sneeko, to Pearly Things, to Brittany Venti, to uh, Think Before You Sleep, to Destiny, to Matt Walsh, to Candace Owens, to Michael Knowles, to Brett Cooper, to Tim Poole, to Nick Wright, to Chris Boussard, to Nick Wiles, I mean, uh, Kevin Wiles, Skip Bayless, Shannon Sharp, Stephen A. Smith, Marcus, Marcus Spears, Wiley, Marcus Wiley, Emmanuel Acho, I can name tons of people. Joy Taylor. It doesn't matter. I want to be, I want to be better than all of them. And I know I'm not going to get to that level. These are people who have been in their fields for years and are great at what they do, but I don't care. The jealousy boils up in me. I don't have a ton of money. I don't have a lot going on in my life, but the money I do have, and I have to budget hard, but I try to spend money. When I see an opportunity come up, I buy new lighting. I buy better lights. I buy a better mic. And most of the stuff I bought in this, in this office of mine, I bought from people. And some of this stuff was free, but I just updated it to make it look better. So that's what drives me. So when Tom is saying stuff like, what did he say to me? What did he do? Let's, let's go. I'm more like, Look at how he's looking. Look how sharp he looks in that suit. Look how good he looks. I think about my weight, guys. I think about how I look. And that stuff bothers me when I'm working out. I'm like, look at how I look in that shirt. Look at how I look in this suit. Look how good he looks. Look how good his stuff looks when he wears it. He looks so much better. You know? And I'm talking about characteristics I can control, not like height and stuff. I'm just talking about like just fashion and stuff like that. And I just, it just makes me think like, man, I could do so much better. If it's out of my control, it's out of my control. But if I can control it, if I can control my weight, if I can control how my videos look, if I can control all that, then dang it, why am I not doing better? And then I look at my sub count and then I look at my viewer count. I'm like, the video wasn't good enough. The video wasn't good enough. No, you know why they're doing so damn good? Because the video was better than mine. That's what I think. I don't get jealous at the point. It's like, man, I suck. I hope they get canceled. No, I think to myself, because even like I said, the people I don't like and all those people I name, I like a majority of those people. Some of them I don't. I'm sure you can figure out who I don't like. But a lot of those people I do like, but there's some people I don't like. But even then, when I see them still doing better than me and they're still getting subs and they're still getting views and I think about how much money they could be making or how, many, uh, how much engagement they're getting, all I could think to myself is I could be better. I don't care about the money like that. It's not like I want money just to have it for the sake of having money. But I think about the value that they're bringing and just why they're bringing in so much money. For most people, not all. Some of them are scammers, but some people are bringing in money because of the production they bring. Love them or hate them, they're putting in the work. And so I think about that over and over and over every time I wake up. When I go to my nine to five, the only thing I'm thinking about is I'm going to work my nine to five as best I can because this nine to five provides me money to make my videos better. Because in the future, like I've said many a times, I want to do stuff like The Daily Wire. I may want to be maybe produce a movie or a series or something. I just wanted to do whatever the heck I want to do. And that's what I want to do. Right. But I know it comes with the cost. That matters how I take care of my body. That matters how I take care of my life, how I treat people around me, how I treat my friends. And that's why I get so mad when I see how people treat people because they think they're better than them. I just think that's ridiculous and stupid. That's not how you get success in life. If you get success by stepping on people, I got no respect for you. But people, and these are the people I love even more that make me want to be more like them. People that you see are really nice, authentic in real life. Obviously, I don't know a lot of these YouTubers, but I'm talking about people I know in my personal life that I knew were super successful. And you could just see how nice they were to people. You could see how people talked about them from their wife to their kids, to their friends, to the lady at the store. That's what I want. I want to be able to do that. So it matters to me how I present myself, how I move around, how I treat others. That jealousy within me to want to be successful. And I see that you got it and I don't. It's, I always want to self-improve. I don't want to take anything from anybody. I want that person to be, I don't care if somebody's more successful than me. That's fine. I want, I want to keep watching people who are better than me. I love it. Like, I love it. Like, I love being disappointed. I love looking at other people and seeing how good they're doing. It drives me to be better. And then when I finally get better and I get to a place where I'm like, okay, you made some improvements. Good job. I'll see somebody else doing better. And I'm like, all right, right back to the grind, baby. Let's do it again. And I'm going to do this until I can't. When it's all over and it's said and done, one thing Tom Brady says in this interview is he said he never tried to be the best of all time. He just wanted to be the best person he could be. That's all I care about. And that's why I let these people drive me and make me jelly. Uh, jelly. It <laughs> make me jealous. That's what I'm trying to do. So when I get to the end of that finish line, right, 
it doesn't matter where it stops. My finish line may be uh, 5,209th place on YouTube, 10,217th on YouTube. But if I gave everything to get that spot and that's where I land, then I'm happy with that. I would only be upset with myself if I'm in 10,000th place on YouTube. And the only reason I'm there is because I was a, I didn't take care of my body. I didn't take care of my health. I didn't take care of production. I didn't put in the work. I decided to be lazy. I was just praying to God that it just came to me without no work. Then I'd be upset with myself. But if I'm 10,000th place and I did every dang thing I could, I gave everything I could in the end, then I could be happy with that. I could be happy with that. And right now I'm not happy at all because I haven't done that. But that's what keeps driving me every single damn day day to show up on this channel to show up in life to be the best worker i can be and that's what keeps me even though i fail with my weight i keep fucking trying i don't care i get it i get people look at me i get people to look at my weight i get people think oh he's just a fat fuck i get it and trust me I, I feel that every part of my life about me being so financially broke about me being fat about me not being uh, in the greatest shape about me not being a better youtuber about me not being uh other stuff in my life not having the cars i want not being able to buy my wife the stuff i want i fucking think about that shit all day and i'm gonna keep trying I'm going to keep trying because when I look at other people's lives and not the personal part, people go through tragedies. I never know what's going on in somebody's mind. I just mean the, the, the parts I like, the parts I know I can emulate. You know what I mean? So that's all. I'm gone.